We're hearing from more people personally affected by the violence in Israel. Fox Eyes Jody Goldberg talked to several people overseas whose loved ones were killed or are missing. In the second that I start gunshot, I go out from the car and start to run. Run for our, for, for our lives. Terrifying intense moments for Einbar Rosenzweig and the thousands who saw their lives literally flash before their eyes. I know if I stop, that this is, might be the last time that I stop in my life. The 25-year-old considers herself one of the lucky ones. I feel guilty that I uh, got out. Who ran as soon as gunshots rang out at the music festival. They came to celebrate life, to dance, they came to have fun. Nir and Shay Arad's little brother Ori was working as a bartender at the festival. This picture taken just hours before he was viciously murdered by Hamas terrorists. He is the most beautiful person. He's a charming. He has a huge heart. He doesn't deserve what happened here. Ori's death will not be in vain. His brothers tell us he miraculously saved two young women who were hiding in his car. The moment that they said, Angel, Kelly, hell, and a great jeep, we knew it's our brother. In one hand, I'm super proud. But in the other hand, you know, uh, if he wasn't a hero, maybe he was here with us. And as the days go by, Ohad Harel grows even more desperate to find his sister-in-law, Sharona, who is among the concert goers in the desert celebrating her 40th birthday. The last message was, uh, they shooting me. Uh, I'm hiding. Ohad is pleading for answers. We went there to look for any details, to go between hospitals, people who saw her, who knew her, who remember anything. Then we realized that she was kidnapped. Despite the deep pain everyone has endured, they continue to pray for peace and the safe return of the victims held hostage. Jody Goldberg, Fox 5 News.